Hi, my name is Joe Pico, and I'm a documentary producer in LA. I was watching the O'Reilly Factor on Fox News the other night, and I saw something that was so funny and interesting that I thought I would share it. Now, if you follow politics or the news media at all, you might remember that a few years back there was a controversy where Fox News was accused of giving their hosts and commentators Republican talking points to follow. Now, Fox News, of course, denied this, but it's really beside the point. Because whether or not Roger Ailes was personally handing out Republican talking points to his hosts, there are clearly a myriad other ways the hosts could have been clued into what stances the Republican establishment would prefer they take. Say, I don't know, the internet. Now, one of the big powerful Republican sites on the internet is redstate.com. It's run by a guy named Eric Erickson, and I tend to read his, uh, his blog every day. On Friday, August 24th, Erickson wrote a short post about the Lance Armstrong doping controversy. Here are a few things that Erickson wrote about the Lance Armstrong story. I don't really have a dog in this fight. I've never cared much for competitive cycling, but it really does seem horrendous and un-American to me that a quasi-government agency, mostly funded by the government, gets to pretend it's not part of the government and throw out due process to harass an athlete after he's largely left the sport and all prior investigations turned up in his favor. And then a little later in Erickson's post, he finishes with, Michael Phelps better watch his back with this as a precedent. So Erickson posted that at about 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Fast forward 12 hours to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and the O'Reilly Factor is starting. O'Reilly wasn't on this night, and said it was frequent guest Monica Crowley filling in as host. The Factor decided to cover the Lance Armstrong doping story, and here's what Monica had to say. See if anything sounds familiar. Great to see you, Rob. You too. Delighted right, so to be on the show with you. We, yeah, likewise. So we might disagree about this because I am, I'm pretty appalled. Now, I don't know whether Lance Armstrong doped or not. I have no idea. But you have this sort of quasi-government agency that pretends it's not a government agency, but is still funded by, by the government for the most part, which means you and me, taxpayers. And it seems like they have thrown out due process here to harass an athlete that is no longer even in the sport. I don't think that's uh, true, like everyone else. I mean, um, the miracle wasn't true. I but just, you know what, Karanda, uh, look, vibe. this is, and again, I have no dog in this fight. I'm not here to defend Lance Armstrong, but it seems like he is the most, ha and has well, been because now of Lance Armstrong. If you're Michael Phelps, now do you have to worry about your gold medals because somebody might question something at some point? I think it's a real tragedy. Yeah, Monica, I can tell you really care deeply about this tragedy as you read back near verbatim the text of a conservative blog and then pass it off as your own original thought. You'll see this kind of thing all the time on Fox News, but it's not usually this overt, so I thought I'd share this uh, particularly egregious example. Thanks for watching.